Lonnie just said that sky's the limit and you know there's only a matter of time that you're gonna go off the way that they were guarding you. Was there something that you saw or just read that, that defensively what they were doing that you could tell that you that you could capitalize? Um really no, nah, it was just they did a lot bit of love, like everything, switching, drop coverage, so I knew if I just get the matchup I want, just get to my spots, then you know, anything could happen, find clacks on the lives because I knew going to the paint. Um, AD will come over and try to contest everything, all my layups, so I knew the lob would be there for clacks. And then, you know, they give up a lot of um, mid-range floaters and stuff. You know, that's that's my game, so, you know, I'll just get to that early, get a flow, get to the rim, so. And then the three was falling for me today, finally, so. <laughs> finally, so that was, um, so that really opens everything up for me. When that's falling, then I feel like there's nothing much anybody can do, so. What was special about that third quarter for you guys as a group that allowed you guys to outscore them 38 to 22? Shit, we started good. <laughs> we started good. That's the good thing. We started good. That's really the main thing, too. We started good, had good energy. Um, we seen at halftime, you know, we had to get a little more physical, a little bit more physical on them, and then that's what we did. And then as soon as we got physical, the energy picked up. You know, we started getting turnovers, a lot of fast break layups, um, fast break threes, a lot of good looks. You know, we had a lot of good looks today, and we made them. So that's why I said we... We just make them. We're going to be in a lot of games. We just got to make them. So that was really, you know, really a positive for us. Even though the Lakers have a size advantage, you said you guys knew you had to be more physical mm -hmm. with them. You talked about that at halftime. How much did watching that clip that the coaches showed you bother you guys? Yeah, no. I, when I say bother, yeah, I yeah. mean understanding that you were bothered at how you guys had played. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, you just try to assess everything in the first half. Uh, we played okay in the first half, but we could have done much better. You know, there was getting a lot of paint, touch, like a lot of paint points with AD and Bron, mainly AD in the first half, and um, a lot of like offensive rebounds, like AD getting offensive rebounds. So, you know, we just got to put a body on them, and that's what we did. We looked at it, put a body on them, and we kind of like neutralized it in the second half. He didn't really get as many second chance points. So, I mean, everything was everything was a positive in the second half. Oh no, everything was a positive today. So. Just, good. Just have we finally got the win. We got the win. That's the main thing. Got the win. Any special feeling or uh, meaning for the uh, shoe selection for today? Oh, no, I always wear Kobe's. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I always wear Kobe's. But it's always good to play against the Lakers. Not really so like who's on the team, but more so like I grew up grew up being a Lakers fan, like a like a diehard Lakers fan, Kobe fan. So it's always good to come in here and like have a good game or play against them, have a good game. So it's always. It always means a little something to me to have a good game, you know, where I used to be, like, a fan at. So it was good. It's good. Thank you. Coach talked about you all playing with the intention and playing for each other, not to get into the locker room, but how would you describe the brotherhood on this team? Well, it's good. Everybody gets along. I feel like we all we all get along. We all good guys. So it's easy. You know, if we just go out there and play for each other, everything will, you know, play out for itself, really. That's what happened today. Uh, everybody chipped in, did a part in something. So I... So that's really the positive, too. Everybody chipped in, had a piece of something. We shared the ball. Everybody got open looks where they made or miss it. We played the right way. So that's really the main thing is, too, at the end of the day. You just want to play good basketball, make or miss. You know, we're pros. We're going to make some one game, miss some the next. But we just wanted to play the right way, get the open threes, make or miss. You know, we're fine with the shot. So just proud of everybody and what we accomplished today. So it was Cam, good. You just said that you're glad you got the win. Glad you got to win. Um, what type of statement does a game like this make for you guys to snap the losing streak, to get a win here against this Lakers team? What can you just take away from this as you guys now have to play here back here on Sunday? Yeah. No, it was a good step, step in the right direction. But, you know, to be honest, we really didn't do anything. You know, it's really one, just one game, one game of us, you know, putting it all together. We have another tough game coming up on Sunday against, you know, a team that's rolling. You know, the Clippers are rolling, playing well, playing great ball. So we just got to look at this film and try to translate over to the next because, you know, it's NBA, you know, this game's over with, you know, another good team, you know, championship caliber team, they're coming. So we got to pick a turn, turn up a little bit, another notch. So, you know, look at the film and just, you know, just try to execute the next game, you know, try to build it on two games in a row. Cam, um, I feel like after every game I start, you get reminded about your journey and what, you, what you've been doing for a long time. 33 points, EYBL average. 23 points EYBL, I mean, 23 points LSU average, and now you're averaging 20 in the league at 20 years old. How long do you feel like you've been a bucket getter? And then 
two, how does it feel, you know, seeing all those people that followed your journey? Because I'm sure, like, on social, you see all the people talk about the EYBL days all the way <laughs> yeah, to now. Yeah, 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 so yeah. just talk about that and when you feel like you got to the bucket getting moments, you know, in your early years, too. Yeah, I've always, uh, always been a good scorer, like, all my life. But really just my mindset really changed in eighth grade. Like, just be that, you know, had that killer mindset to keep scoring, keep scoring. Because when I was younger, I will get 20 points easy, then I will just back off and let my other teammates, you know, try to get their points and stuff. I like, just fade off in the corner and just be, you know, chilling. But I really got the mindset to keep attacking, keep going in eighth grade. So i probably say my, my mindset is the main thing that changed for me to, you know, to be the bucket getter I am right now. And obviously, you know, the EYBL stuff, all that's cool. <laughs> LSU, that's cool. I, I really averaged 25 at LSU, but I got hurt one game in, like, the first minute of the game, like, the first two minutes. So I don't know why people put that 23. It's really 25, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Do you feel like you still have that chip on your shoulder still going 27? Because, yeah. like, it's just funny, like, listening to how people used to talk when you were coming out the draft. Everybody knows your bucket. <laughs> and I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really understand why people were like, oh, yeah, we know he's going to score 20 but he still goes to 27. It don't really make sense. Does that not make sense to you too? Like thinking about it? Of course. <laughs> but obviously, uh, I feel like it's just me talking about myself. I feel like the goalpost always moves for me from everything I watch. Like when people now score all these points, it's all praise. But when I used to do it, score all the points, it's, it's always a knock. Oh, he can't play defense. Oh, he doesn't pass. But when I see other people doing the same thing, it's praise. So obviously the goalpost moves, but me being me, I don't care. I don't really look at stuff like that. I just know what I do and what I bring to a team and how I was appreciated on the team. So really just staying true to myself and not letting, you know, trolls or anything get in my head about stuff like that. So, but yeah, obviously, you know, the draft, obviously I still play with that chip on my shoulder for sure, even now. So whatever it is, I just try to, you know, every team that, you know, picked ahead of Brooklyn, I just try to go out there and, you know, try to kill them every time, no matter who the team. So. Just trying to show everybody they made, made a mistake, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody made their decisions, but I just want to keep helping.